Apple's Tim Cook confirms that there will be a new categories this year. HTC and Microsoft strike a patent collaboration deal. And Google's acquisition of Nest is now final according to the FTC. I'm Jaime Rivera, and since you all do not want any more beer jokes, I'm just going to have to spend Friday drinking alone without you guys. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as HTC has finally signed a patent agreement with Nokia. They did the same with Apple, but this time Nokia was giving them a much harder time with the whole codec thing of the audio on the HTC One, we know that. And since Nokia now belongs to Microsoft, which is one of the biggest partners for HTC ever since the time of the original Pocket PC in the year 2000, it is clear that we do know why this patent deal happened, but it's great for it to happen. This allows HTC to continue their innovation in the way that they can. And speaking of Nokia, the company is now teasing us a new device that will be announced soon, though the company is not really being very specific as to what we're getting. All we hear is the engine of a car from probably the 70s or something, and it's just rolling and rolling and telling us that there is something cool that's coming. We are expecting for Nokia to launch a lot of products at MWC, but the problem is we don't really have any significant press invitations for this to happen, so it's kind of weird. We don't really know what to expect from Nokia at MWC. They probably could have a separate event, so stay tuned. And speaking of press invitations, Apple is rumored to be launching iOS 7.1 until March. And the reason why is because apparently the company wants to do it public in an event that they plan to have in March. Though the question is exactly what else are we expecting for this event? Because iOS 7.1 is not really that big a deal. As it turns out, Tim Cook was just in an interview with the Wall Street Journal and according to him, we will be getting new categories this year. So could it be that we get that in March? In the past, we used to get iPads in March, so let's see what that is. Now let's talk about Google as Taiwanese manufacturing sources say that the company is building a Nexus 8 and that the Nexus 8 is slated to be launched by the end of April as per other rumors that we already had. But listen to this, Taiwanese sources, what else can we expect than HTC? We heard the rumors yesterday that the company was working on building a tablet and most possibly a Nexus tablet. So uh, could it be that we're getting that tablet early? End of April would be cool and HTC does need this. And finally, for the hot news of the day, the FTC has now cleared the deal between Google and Nest. Google now owns Nest for $3.2 billion. A lot of money, and for those of you wondering if this is only for the home project that Google has, not necessarily. We know that Tony Fadell, the founder of Nest, is the father of the iPod, and a lot of the employees from Nest are actually ex-Apple employees, so we are expecting for the Nest team to be in charge of Google's future hardware endeavors, but that leads you to the question of the day. What exactly would you want this Nest team to build for Google? What exactly would you like them to focus on? Because in my particular case, I would love a less intrusive version of Google Glass, but leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week. <laughs>